most curious discovery I've made. I must wipe away this inscription to read what exactly is entombed within this sarcophagus. If it is a sarcophagus, it would be the most odd sarcophagus I've found. Granted, of course, I cannot read aloud what it says. I've learned my lesson once before and I will not repeat it again. All I need to do is just make sure that I can read it within my head and by reading it in my head I'll be able to decide what it means. Maybe I'll put it into the archaeological studies. Perhaps I'll win an award and my work will finally be distinguished and recognized. And maybe then I'll be more appreciated within the library. But wishes are wishes and I might not get what I want. This is all for the matter of, well, this is all for the sake of advancement of the knowledge. Let me adjust it a little bit. Oh, there we go. Working late hours in the library, brushing away at inscriptions, just to, to, just to decipher words that could very well be already deciphered if, if people, if rather the head of the department was more willing to put in the extra work, but no, I'm the one who's supposed to put in the extra work. I'm the one who's supposed to be staying late. I'm the one who's supposed to be doing all of this extra deciphering, which I do love, but at what cost when the director believes that I'm some sort of nuisance? I mean, my parents did so much for this library, and I am so well educated. And I, my talents and my education are being wasted, categorizing and cataloging and deciphering, as opposed to being in the field where I deserve and where I belong to be, researching and exploring and excavating. But now I must just receive the remnants of the excavations secondhand and have them delivered into this boring prism of walls. Seems to be very, very layered. But I'm sure we are able to be. We will be able to dust this off by morning, but if morning arrives, have I even slept? When was the last time I slept? Oh, if only I could just dust it off. If I could only see books of the dead and books of the living, the Book of Omen Ra gaze upon lost cities and be reunited, or rather united with these lost kingdoms and see them firsthand as opposed to staying in some Egyptian library where I only see the modernity of the world as opposed to the antiquity. There we go. Don't worry. I'll treat you with gentility. I don't want to rush, otherwise I might damage the inscription. And by damage I mean brush away the inscription. These inscriptions are quite old and if I were to rush I might end up creating damage by, by creating friction between the solids in this inscription. I just wonder if Jonathan were in my position, I wonder if he would have the same difficulties as I when it comes to career advancement, or if he might be able to be more successful in my position than I am and within my own feet. At the same time, his, he has his own vices that would ultimately reprimand him. I mean, he couldn't possibly do my role as well as I could do my own role, for I am someone who, though I am 
slightly aired and clumsy. My intellect is just unparalleled. Jonathan, on the other hand, is not... His intellect is as sharp as a 3,000-year-old spear, which is not at all. It's quite blunt and rustic, but... It's only my own paranoid and bitter ramblings of an overlooked woman. But it's so late. It is so late in the night. And I cannot rest because I am... I fear that if I don't finish dusting off this inscription and cataloging and getting all of this work done that I won't... I'll only backslide towards a lesser position that I don't want. And that is my difficulty. Money, since I, my friends are all mummies. And I guess you're my new friend, since you are the newest mummy we've received. But that is my concern, is that I cannot move forward. I cannot move upward. I can only move down. When I was accepted for this position, it wasn't like I was accepted to a very high position, but I've since debased and lowered myself based on a few errors I've committed. Errors that if it had been committed by others, it would have been unnoticed, but because it was committed by myself, I was placed to a lower and lower position. I was, um, what's it called? I was removed from that higher position and placed into a lower position. I, I, I can't recall the word for it specifically. Nonetheless, I can't move upwards though. Whatever, I can only backslide, but I can't go. And the frustration that I feel is unparalleled, but frankly, my work needs to be done. And I cannot eschew my work. Otherwise, I'll only be further demoted. Demoted, that's the word, demoted. I'll only be further demoted, and I'd rather not suffer that humiliation. But don't worry, my new dear mommy friend. We're going to find out what your name was, and when you lived, and what powers you had over your people. If you had any powers. We'll figure out why it is that you were buried in such an odd sarcophagus, and why, how you came to be buried, how you came to pass, what was your life like. We're going to learn so much from you, and you're going to learn so much from me, and we will establish a good connection, you and I. Just let us finish this. Otherwise, I don't think that our connection could implement itself. I wonder if you would understand. I wonder if you understand the difficulty that there is in studying and in intellect and in, in being recognized, regardless of if you were ruler or a subservient anyone in any position would recognize the difficulty when people overlook your talents and overlook your education in preference to believing a character of you that isn't genuine to who you really are and that is the frustrating part of it is that i've been working here for so long I wanted to make my parents proud by following in their footsteps, especially with my passion being what it is, but I find myself taking steps away from their approval. And I feel that in my afterlife, once I've been buried in my own sarcophagus, let's say, that upon meeting them they would be relatively disappointed in what I amounted to. Nonetheless, I won't bore you with my ramblings. I will continue polishing you off. That way by morning, I can 
better know you.